Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Nah, I might get to one. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. You know how cars have tracking services built in? Kind of like OnStar. I don't know if OnStar is even a thing anymore. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So essentially, this happened, I don't know, in the last week or two. Probably last week. So a a person's like two-year-old kid was in the back seat and the oh, car man. got taken. Yikes. So so it's like it's like a stolen car with a kid essentially a kidnapping. Oh, I thought it was a repossession. No, you no, it was, it, was like, it was like a stolen car or whatever. Oh, so yeah. that's, car's gone. That's not the first time that has happened. And this is a Volkswagen, by the way. So let's throw these motherfuckers under the bus. Okay, German so, car. Not, so a, good, the, not so, a good look. So the cops call the Volkswagen support or whatever service it is. It's through Volkswagen. It's not like a separate thing, whatever it is. Sure, sure. And they're like, hey. We're the police. Uh, this car was stolen. There's a kid in the back seat. It's imperative we know where it is. We need you to tell us where the car is via location. The rep on the phone says, I'm sorry. The customer subscription has expired. We cannot tell you where the car is. What? And then they're like, but we're the cops. And they're like, we're sorry. The customer subscription has expired. Uh, fam, was it a recording or was no, it? No, no, it was a person. They the cops had to get a credit card and pay them to redo the service to be able to before the person would tell them where the fucking car was, and like by the time they did it, they had already found the car. Like the, the person like fi- had like got dumped the car. They realized, oh shit, there's a kid in the car. They pulled over, dumped the car, and ran I off. But like would sue so hard. Like. What the actual sh- f, dude? There's, like, there's a lawsuit in there somewhere. Like, they're like, sorry, my supervisor told me I couldn't tell you where the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. if like they were like, we'll fax you documentation that we're the cops. Like, we are the police. We need this. Like, it isn't for fun. It's not hahazies. It's there's a baby in the car. So, Joe, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there is actually uh, what they call the Good Samaritan Law. Where like if uh is that let me let me guess that's mm-hmm. like if you have a reasonable duty as a normal person to do something and you yes. don't you can be held accountable exactly right right okay so I when I say like you know like is it immoral yes a hundred percent is it illegal <laughs> maybe not no it is illegal I feel like I feel that, like that should have been illegal I feel like that violates that on so many levels. That it, it is insane well, to me. I can almost guarantee the person who answers the phone doesn't have children. Yes. Because any parent who's like, oh, my kid's missing and in a stolen car, I, I, I'll i lose my job to tell you where this kid yeah, is. I mean, I don't have kids, and I'd be like, yeah, all right, I got you. Me too, dude. Like, I would <laughs> I got be like, you. Oh, it's like, oh, I get that. That's a serious thing. Yeah, yeah. Let me just pull this up for you real quick. You know? Right. So, how so, was, so, I so just, easy. I was... So, needless to say, these subscription services, they're getting out of hand, homie. No, needless to say is that I'm sure that this was brought to Volkswagen's attention, and they probably have a policy from now on to handle that in a better manner than what they did. Oh, after this PR nightmare, I'm sure. PR nightmare, and like I said, I would definitely I would definitely seek some some litigation, man. I'm sorry, I'm not a litigious person. I mean, the person, kid, the kid hey. ended up okay, but he very well could no, have not. exactly. And like, if something had happened, they definitely would have been held accountable. To oh, a thousand some, some percent. Extent. We're like, if the, if the mother effing sheriff is calling you, telling exactly. us, telling you, tell us where the car is, like, tell the sheriff where the goddamn car is. Exactly. I We're talking about a potential a lawsuit because you don't want to violate your policy about telling somebody where the car is. For payment. Yeah. For yeah. money. That's insane. So that kid's life was worth 150 bucks to that person. <laughs> But you're not wrong. Is that these subscription services are getting out of control? Everything is a subscription service now. Yeah, everyone thought, oh, Netflix is the cable killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, was. Yeah, it was. It was. When everything didn't think it would survive, and they're like, yeah, sure, we'll give you rights to our shows. That's great. Ha 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 ha. Exactly. Every every person that buys a Tesla has has told me it's like I'm like, oh, how's the you know the auto drive? And they're like, oh, I don't pay the subscription for it. I think it's like 150 a month. I wouldn't pay that either. Like, what the hell do you mean $150 a month to do that? Did you see there was something? It was like, and that's kind of what's going to happen. You're talking it's about like, the oh, heated seats? Yeah. Are you talking about the heated yeah, seats? I was, well, getting, I was getting there. Yeah, I was like, getting there. It's like the technology is in. It's it's like fucking putting out a game. 
with planned DLC. Bro, that's how everything is now. It's like, oh, you want the car? The car's here. Oh, you, the heated seats are there, but you got to yeah. pay us 30 bucks a month for us to turn the switch on for exactly. you. Exactly. Like, it, it's what everything is either a subscription service or microtransactions. Yeah. And what I saw the other day, and it was super funny uh, because it was like, I guess Netflix canceled a bunch of series that they have mm -hmm, and they're mm -hmm. like netflix is basically the new cable like netflix netflix makes these series and mm -hmm. they're not they're not getting enough views and they cancel them but people are like i want to watch the show mm -hmm. like like used to happen on abc and cbs and fox you're mm -hmm. like i want to see what happens with this goddamn story and now netflix has basically become cable yeah i mean and streaming, that's because streaming, I think, has really is what's become the new cable. I will say streaming yeah. as a whole. What is cool, though, is you can still get high def TV for free. Yeah. Like, like I have that $7. I think the uh, biggest crime of inhumanity right now is that, and this is facetious, obviously, is like people will sell you an HD antenna for like $300. The one that I have was seven fucking bucks at Walmart, and I get... I get what is there like thirty seven channels or something for for free anytime, yeah. yeah. And they'll try to tell you you need a hundred dollar HD antenna. I'm like, no, you don't. I've I got seen, bunny ears. I mean, I have seen you fiddle with those bunny ears and and yell at them a few times. Oh, I yell at everything though. <laughs> I have seen you do that, it, that so. meme of old man yells at cloud. That is me for a hundred, everything. A hundred percent. Um, I yeah, I don't know. I just I don't like the idea of like everything being streamable because then if you look at it you got to have your spotify then you got to have your disney plus because you got to watch the Hold mandalorian i will yeah. i will die on the hill that spotify is worth it what the hell ever anyway and so it's just one more to add on to the pile so yeah. you gotta have your spotify you gotta have your disney plus because you gotta watch the mandalorian <laughs> you gotta have your your uh your hbo max because what's on there i don't know doom patrol sure whatever you gotta watch that <laughs> you gotta have what's the other one you gotta have your netflix that's Paramount oh, Plus, Paramount Hulu, Plus. Who, yeah, seriously, and just with the Peacock, the cock, and just with the couples I've named, that's very funny. I like, do like it when you scream cock in the middle. <laughs> cock. I love it. It's, yeah, but anyways, okay. yeah, you and know. you're already looking at like seventy-five bucks a month. But and then they crack down on sharing passwords. Yeah, and then it's Son like, do, who has cable anymore? Is it better? Is it? It's almost better now to have cable. But then you don't get the autonomy to if watch stuff cable, when you want. If you you can watch any of the, the network streaming services for free. Oh. Like, you can watch the MTV Is app. Right? Well, not like you can't get, like, Paramount Plus, but you can watch, like, the TNT app, and all the TNT shows are on the oh. app because you have a cable login. So the real sweet deal... Is so you, ESPN you, used to do that. ESPN does. They still they do. They were the, so, one of the first. So what you do is you find your sweet, sweet grandma... Who has cable because she doesn't have the internet? You say, Grandma, let me let me let me is, sign your account up online. Is that what you do? You do it. Is that what? You and do? then you use her password to get all the no, stuff for free. Because everybody's going to be cracking down on that. Netflix is just not the, the cable thing. The cable thing is different. The cable ones are going to be like, uh, sorry, that code is for somebody who lives in Ohio and you live in. Oh, I don't Texas. do that. I gotta. I uh. I I uh. I don't do that. I'm not saying. I mean, you probably should. I mean, I'm going to go like, with the ethical, moral route and say that I would uh, never do anything like that. Nah, fam. They, they, they make enough money. I'm sorry. I'm, I agree. I'm tired of, I'm tired of paying everybody I, honest, 10 bucks well, a month. And I think it's BS that, like, Spotify has a family account, and if, like, you don't live in the same zip code, they block your goddamn account. Like, bro, really? Agreed. Like, if I'm paying 20 bucks a month, I any five mother effers I want to share that nah. shit with should be on my account. Nah, just like Netflix, they're cutting down on that, man. And if, when they start cutting down, I'm going to start cutting off. Because I have, look, I have an Amazon Plus account. Well, that's because well, we order everything off goddamn Amazon. But you, I feel like that that I have I to do have. that for shipping. I don't watch Prime. No, I don't really watch Prime. I do Prime music occasionally because when I talk to the A word in my living room, yeah. I do want her to play certain songs for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, but uh, I, I, we, I have an uh, Amazon Prime account and I have an Xbox Live account. And, that's and that about sucks it. because now they made it so you have to have the monthly account. And granted, Game Pass is awesome. I'll it's, give it that. It's really good. Um, for fifteen bucks a month or whatever it is. Yeah, I have a uh, yeah, I have Spotify and I have Peacock and then Prime because I have because like the amount of stuff I order off of Amazon, mm. Prime pays for itself with shipping 
And See, even you yeah. had to cut off some of them because you had an HBO Max for a I while. Had, well, it was because during COVID, movies that were going to the theater were hitting up. Yeah. Hitting up. But yeah, okay. like, no, that, no, that's dude, how the only, they got you, though. The only streaming service I have is Peacock. And uh, then I have Spotify. I will never stop Spotify because it literally is like all music, any way you want it for what. And I have the family account. I, have my, I let my mom use it and stuff. But and she's you. grandfathered in. Yeah. Um, it's like 15, 17 bucks a month or something for any I, music you I'm want. Not, man. I'm not trying to hear. Everything's a subs- the problem is not the price point or whether or not it's worth the price point because that's subjective. The problem is, is that everything's a goddamn subscription service. Or everything's just full of microtransactions. I agree. I feel like the problem is in the system, not Speaking necessarily. Of which, if you want to donate to the Crazy Town, go TNT. to thecrazytown.com. Okay, I was going to say TNT Dynamite seven 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 on your spot of, on your uh, Venmo. No, anyway, what what I don't. Now? I don't know. Cash, cash app. app. Cash app. Uh, go to thecrazytown.com though. That'll support our YouTube channel. Uh, and for Jonas, should we just start begging for money? I mean, should we just do a whole podcast about giving us money? <laughs> TNT. We out.